Hey everyone, this is Kumar Shadish Patel. I'm a first year PhD student at TTI Chicago and today I'll be talking about the local SGD algorithm for distributed optimization. This work is a culmination of four research papers authored at EPFL and now at TTI Chicago. In the past few years, we've seen machine learning grow both in terms of models and the data sets which are used to train these models. And this necessitates distributing the task of training these models, which is where distributed optimization becomes relevant. Depending on the individual trade-offs which these training processes represent, for example, using edge devices, not using edge devices, using data centers, having to train synchronously, having to use a parameter server or not, each of these trade-offs, each of these situations presents its own challenges, presents its own benefits and presents its own use cases. And it becomes, an, it becomes important to understand each of these settings and how to make the best use of the optimization algorithms we have in each of these settings. I'd be considering a simple model here, a simple communication model here, which is relevant for each of these settings and can be modified to use in each of these settings. Consider capital M machines. These machines are allowed to communicate capital R times. And between the time they communicate, uh, they have capital K stochastic gradients each and they can use any optimization algorithm of their liking to make updates on the model in a model locally present on each of these machines. Uh, one way to use these capital K stochastic gradients is the simplest way to just use all of them, combine them, average them and make one mini batch HDD update. So combining all capital M machines, this looks like a mini batch HDD update with batch size of capital K M and we make capital R such updates. This is usually what's done in distributed optimization, the most vanilla implementation you'd find in most packages. On the same spectrum is something called local SDD, where instead of making one single update with these capital K stochastic gradients, you make K local gradients, you, you make K local updates on each machine. And that's why it's called local SDD. And this sounds like an interesting algorithm because I might have reasons to believe that this could be better than mini batch SDD. For instance, one of those reasons is that each of the update that a local machine makes on itself is less stale compared to the mini batch SDD update on the respective machine because I'm updating as I see a new point instead of making just one update and then communicating again. In some sense, I'm making more use better use of my computation power between each communication route. But is this intuition true? Is local SDD actually better than mini batch SDD? This is the question we want to answer from an optimization perspective. Our objective looks something like this. Each of these machines uh, has an objective capital F subscript M and uh, the overall objective is an average of them. We want to minimize this overall objective. And on each machine, the objective looks something like this. It's, it's an expectation uh, with respect to a random variable. This random variable is sampled from a machine specific distribution, D superscript M. This random variable, for instance, could just be a marker of a training point. For instance, each random variable could denote one training point. I could have sampled from the training distribution on that machine. So Z is equals to Z features comma Z label. And, uh, the overall objective on that machine is just the expectation uh, of all the over all the training points I could have sampled. It's the, the distribution in some sense could be the empirical distribution on that particular machine. This is a simple setting. We see it very commonly in supervised learning. To analyze the functions of this sort, I'm going to make the assumption that the overall objective is capital H smooth. The optimizer of this overall objective is upper bounded by something ca called capital B and that this objective is lambda strongly convex where this lambda is allowed to be zero. So we deal with both strongly convex and general convex functions. In this particular talk, I'd only be presenting results for convex functions because they are uh, more easy to interpret. If you don't know the definitions of smoothness and strong convexity, I have noted it below here. Some additional simplifying assumptions. I could assume that all of these machines have the same distribution. Uh, okay, you might say that's not realistic, but it helps us analyze the situation. And it and we've been able to analyze even the situation when the distributions are different. Uh, that comes later. 
since we are talking about SDD updates, we need to make some assumption on the stochastic gradient and the assumption we make here is that its variance is bounded. Of course, the stochastic gradient is also an unbiased gradient of the true gradient. These are common assumptions in stochastic gradient uh, related optimization, stochastic optimization, so nothing new here. So sigma is the variance upper bound and if sigma is zero, this is simply full gradient descent. So I'm making full gradient descent updates. The results look something like this. The Minibats SGD algorithm has this first term HB square over capital R and the local SGD algorithm has this first term uh, which ignoring this LNMK looks something like this. While it might look complicated, if you pause the video and compare these terms, you'd get to get to know that there are some settings where local SGD can be better than Minibats SGD. Specifically when capital K is really large, the first term becomes smaller than the first term for mini batch SGD. This in some sense is the first result which shows that local SGD can actually dominate mini batch SGD in some relevant settings. The second term, the statistical term is the same here. Additionally, this uh, result still doesn't close up the question whether local SGD is always better than mini batch SGD because it's an upper bound. So we are also providing a lower bound which gives us the unfortunate observation that local SGD is not always better than mini batch SGD. And in fact, for small k and large sigma square, it can actually be worse than mini batch SGD. This is slightly unfortunate because in the last two years, a lot of effort has gone into proving upper bounds, which could show that local SGD could, in practice, theoretically def uh, defeat mini batch SGD. Besides this, we show that uh, when the function capital F is quadratic, local SGD actually does not suffer from this lower bound and that it's minimax optimal up to acceleration. Our experiments show that this is indeed the case. Our theory is represented by very similar experiments. When capital K is large, local SGD is better. When capital K is small, local SGD can be worse than mini batch SGD. The function used here for these experiments was actually the lower bound function, the, the function used in the construction for the lower bound. The bigger picture does is that local SDD's behavior is much more complicated than was expected two years ago when a lot of this work started coming in. In the homogeneous setting, it's minimax optimal. That's it has matching upper and lower bounds uh, when the function is quadratic. But when the function is not quadratic, depending on the value of capital K, that is the number of steps I take between these communication rounds. It can sometimes be better than large mini batch, but at other times it can be worse than large mini batch. In the heterogeneous setting, when the distributions are different on each of these machines, when the heterogeneity is low, uh, then the picture is roughly the same. But when heterogeneity is high, local SGD is provably always worse than mini batch SGD. And this is sort of disappointing because heterogeneous settings are in some sense more practical, right? Because we would want to distribute our data independently on each of these uh, machines. We might want a disjoint distribution on each of these machines. For instance, these could be mobile phones all over the globe, and I could be training them on a data center located in, say, Australia. Uh, we also know that large mini batch SGD is unaffected by this heterogeneity in our training. And that is slightly intuitive because in some sense, even if you have different distributions on each of these machines, uh, the gradient is still an unbiased gradient and you can carry on the standard mini batch SGD analysis. It leaves open questions such as ma finding matching upper and lower bounds as well as using variance protection, etc. in these algorithms. Uh, more importantly, the biggest question is, can we find a single algorithm which rules all these settings, low and high heterogeneity, low and high variance? Can we provide precise guidelines for practitioners and uh, some extensions to other distributed learning settings? And some of these questions and most of the detail I provided in this talk is covered in much, much more detail and uh, precision in these papers for papers with my wonderful co-authors. And uh, specifically, if you're interested in more experimental aspects of local SGD, I would encourage you to uh, read the second paper. The homogeneity aspects are covered in the first and the third paper and the heterogeneity aspects in the fourth paper. So if uh, you found the talk interesting, please visit uh, poster 235 on Thursday at 5.30 p.m. CEST. Thank you for the, attending the talk and uh, have a nice time at MLSS.